Thank you very much, and uh, good afternoon for our Chinese, to our Chinese friends. Good morning to our Israeli friends. Dear Vice uh, Governor Wong, Peleg Levy, Consul General of Israel to Guangzhou, Academician Zhong Qian Zhao, Director General Jing, Director General Rong, Mayor Zheng, your presence here testifies to the importance attributed by the two governments to the role played by GTIAT as a bridge between the two people. We are grateful for your continued support and promise to continue and do our best to justify it. Dear Party Secretary Jiang of STU, Chairman of the Board, Professor Jin Feng Hao, President of Shanto University, Frida Lo, representative of the Li Keqing Foundation, board members, Chancellor Gong, Lisi Gershoni, Professor Peretz Lavi, former Technion President and father or founding father of GTIAT, Professor Shaleb, former VC, and the father of much of what we are going to see here today. Distinguished faculty and staff, guests, colleagues, and most importantly, dear graduates and their families and friends. The first class of GTIAT graduates is now a fact. What a glorious historic day. The excitement and joy of the graduates, their teachers, administrative staff and family members can be felt even here in Haifa, thousands of miles away, while unable to attend the ceremony in person due to COVID-19. Let me assure you that there is no less excitement at this end of the line. And there is plenty to be excited about and plenty to be proud of. A remarkable and far-sighted vision of its founders has been realized as testified in the purest way by today's graduation ceremony. GTIAT is the first and only endeavor in its kind in the mutual history of China and Israel, two ancient nations that share the values of knowledge scholarship and innovation for thousands of years. These nations have breezed, bridged across geography and language to create the marvel that we celebrate today. Several months ago, Chancellor Gong and I met for the first time, and it was over Zoom. The two of us grew up and studied in different parts of the world. And yet, it took us but a few minutes to recognize that we speak the same language. And that language wasn't Chinese, it wasn't Hebrew, it wasn't English. It was the language of science and scholarship, the language that bridges across geographies and cultures to connect all people for the benefit of humanity. It is this language that you, dear graduates, have acquired in GTIAT. So I call upon you, spread the word and serve it as its faithful ambassadors. Dear graduates, today marks your entrance into a unique and prestigious club, the Technion Alumni, a club comprising Nobel laureates, the inventor of drip irrigation, a technology that changed life of hundreds of millions by facilitating agriculture in dry land, the inventors of the data compression algorithm behind all electronic communication, including the one we are using in the present ceremony, the architects of the Pentium processor, those who embedded 
Wi-Fi communication in personal computers and change forever the way we communicate across the globe, the inventor of the memory stick and the developers of drugs, revolutionary treatments of cancer, and the first surgical robots. Being a member of that club is not just a title. It bestows upon you prestige that comes with responsibility and expectations. Dear families and friends of the graduate, the pride you feel today is more than justified. You were there to support your dear ones in difficult times where the hurdles seemed insurmountable. And you are here to celebrate their achievement. You deserve the pride you feel. It is hard to imagine a better starting point than the one that you have given them. Today's celebration will not be a complete one without mentioning the pioneers. The instrumental role of Mr. Li Kashin former GTIIT Chancellor Li Jiang, former Technion President Professor Peretz Lavi, Professor Paul Fagan, Igal Cohen, and the Technion Special Envoy to GTIIT, Nobel Laureate Distinguished Professor Aaron Chekhanover. The creation and success of GTIIT is the outcome of the work of many, both in Israel and in China. Still, we would not be here today without the profound vision, brilliant leadership, and deep devotion of these individuals to the idea, which is now a living fact. Thank you on behalf of all of us. I would like to conclude by congratulating our graduates and wishing them all the best success in the path they will choose for themselves in the future. The high rate of students, over 70%, that decided to continue with their education in different parts of the world is remarkably high by any standards, testifying to the potential of the first cohort. Always remember us in your hearts and carry this memory with you knowing that we are here for you as you continue to go from strength to strength. Thank you very much.